a few months ago, I took my FG to a local skid pan and I tried to do the drifty slidey boy putting it sideways kind of thing. And it, it turns out that if you have an open diff like I do, that don't work so good. <laughs> you see, an open diff just pretty much isn't made for drifting. So I decided that the solution was obviously to go and get myself a turbo rear cradle, uh, which had a turbo diff and axles and everything. And I went and I bought a nice expensive Eaton True Track LSD from Harrop and, and I would put that in the car and then I would have a nice strong LSD ready to do all the drifties and I just ran out of time and money and, and I, I wasn't able to do it in time. So today, I went to the track with an open diff again, and it actually kind of turned out all right. Oh, 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 yes, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> that. Oh, yes. <laughs> You see, after the first time, I kind of decided, right, I, I'm doing something wrong, obviously, because I'm just finding myself spinning out way too much. Sometimes I'm doing okay, but for the most part, it isn't working out all right. And, and I asked people who know how to drift and I, you know, did a lot of the Googling and stuff like that. And pretty much every response I got was, don't do it. You can't drift with an open diff. But there is one way you can kind of do it. It, it wouldn't work in the dry, not really, but you can kind of do it through just weight transfer. So I went to the skid control event today with one plan in mind. Put that car around every corner as fast and as hard as possible and maybe it'll all work out and I can properly drift it. <laughs> Almost got ya! <laughs> yeah, this run's not as good, I'm guessing because the road isn't as uh, slippery. So it's a lot harder for me to just weight transfer it in. I was going way too slow. <laughs> it's all speed, need more speed. Like a thunder. Thunder. I love how much it just shakes around, you know?
<laughs> I'm like, I really want to get that fucking link there. I really want to get it. It's just more speed needed because I'm slowing down so much. Yeah. So then it requires like throttle to transfer. And that's where it's game over pretty much. Yeah. those cones. Yep. <laughs> nice. Ah, wasn't quite as sideways as I wanted to go, but that was still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You had him come in the car with you, didn't you? Who's that? The instructor. No. Why? Oh, you haven't. <laughs> I just beeped the horn. I'm pretty sure I just went boom. <laughs> well, this is the desperate attempt to like. So have you tried using the handbrake or like to just like get it tapped back in? I have. Um, I have. It wasn't great. It wasn't a great experience to be honest. Is it just too hard? Kicks out too hard or? Yeah. Especially like right here when it like doesn't want to oversteer for you. Yeah. Which way do you want to go? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll get a bot shit instead. Turn the fucking wipers on as well. And although I was able to initiate these drifts, you can see that I keep running into a recurring problem where I'm either massively oversteering because I am using too much throttle to try and control my slide or I'm massively understeering because the diff is just deciding to do whatever whatever the hell it's doing and I'm just not able to brake traction properly at all. Took out, I just took out the cone <laughs> sideways. There must be a real slick spot right there. Oh, that or I'm just taking it too hard and fast and trying to use the throttle for control. It feels like control. you're holding it and then you hit that certain spot and it just yeah. like, it really quickly flicks it, yeah. I do not like how much water there is there because I can physically feel the car slow oh. down, yeah. Like it's <laughs> that explains it. There it is. <laughs> 
closely. And now that I've gotten myself just the tiniest taste of what it's like to get the car sideways properly, I'm definitely going to be getting that rear cradle and cleaning it up, putting all of the new control arms and bushes in it, getting the LSD in it as fast as possible. I'll have a, probably a few videos of doing all of that. Keep your eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see it. And I am taking this thing sideways at turn three at QR. Power cruise next year. It's happening. It's going to happen. Absolutely. I'm going to be broke for a while doing all of this shit. This Holy shit.